Hello and thank you for joining us today. I'd like to introduce you to David Wickenden, a thriller writer from Canada. Dave, how have you done with my analysis? I'm feeling frustrated and confused. I, I don't know. I can see the warrior within you. You hide it from those around you, but I see your true heart. You have challenged the Wolverine before and will do so again. Well, I'd like to think that's me, but you thriller writers seem a tougher bunch. Radiate it. Eradicate it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my, I really think staying still and out of sight. Goddard didn't hear the zip. A high-speed hornet that it ended in a thump. But he sure felt that thump. See, you mustn't force us mystery writers to take risks. Maybe it's you who needs to change your ways. <laughs> That's a nice way to call me a cranky old stubborn fart. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, no, no. And you shouldn't upset us females, Dave. Last person I want to upset is Emily. She might order me an enema if I pissed her off. When politicians are involved, you have to watch your back. <laughs> I used to create custom artwork using fire on paper. As the glass covered the flame, the light pushed back the darkness to unveil both a treasure trove and a horror. Aha! You sold hot art, did you? <laughs> My screenplay, The Devil's Do, was nominated for an Oscar last year. I'm a retired deputy fire chief. Don't you love how people think if you're retired, you should snooze away and not bother writing? And didn't I read your first job was in a tire shop? I bet that gets your wheels turning. I've blown up a tank with a rocket launcher. Well, Dave, you certainly haven't been still in your life, have you? And thanks for joining me today. Thanks for this fun time on the couch. It's done wonders. Genius. Good one.